Now, for those of you that have followed me for years, you know that the whole company has been built on the people process, uh, people process technology paradigm. So it should come as no surprise in the eight-step methodology that we're now going to move into the people process technology steps, which I think are critical for any successful implementation of technology. So I say here now we're going to go into the process piece because typically you might say, oh, we got a sales issue, we got a customer service, a field service, we got a marketing. So what you typically want to then do is to go back in and look at what is what's going on in that process. So I took an example of a sales process and how you might be able to integrate uh, the metaverse technology into your product or service so that the customers can, for example, try on your product. So that's a process. How do I sell the, uh, the trying on of products? And you saw the Warby Parker virtual try on app. That's a very important part of their sales process because people then are ready to buy. They see it on them and so forth. Or you could help in, in another case for um, um, kind of selling as well. You could help a customer configure a whole new piece of machinery on the factory floor as a part of your sales process. So in other words, you, you, you and I'll show it to you in a minute, you could go in and use this metaverse tool, this Microsoft augmented reality tool, it's called the layout tool, and use it to actually help a customer visualize what that machine is gonna look like on the factory floor, and you build that into your sales process, and I'll show that in a minute. And you've seen many of the um, companies are letting prospects come in with their virtual headsets or VR headsets to travel to a vacation. Um, if you look at Virgin Holidays, just an example, you can travel to Mexico, you can travel all kinds of places, and you really feel like you're right inside the holiday, inside the, you know, what's going on. Um, one of the things that we've learned with 30, 36 to 37 years of experience is when you do this process work, which is critical, you want to perform um, insightful process mapping for the, the for the sales function, for the marketing function, for the customer service function, but you don't want to forget what's called end-to-end -end or E-to-E -E processes because, you know, when you sell something, it then falls, once you've sold it, you have to service it. So you've got to make sure that sales and service work together. And there's many different people that touch the customer finance and, you know, what is all kinds of things. So you want to look at processing for the, the process in question, maybe it's a sales process, but how does that fit into the bigger picture end-to-end? -end? And for many of our customers, we do the end-to-end -end process mapping because it helps them see how everything fits together, et cetera. But let's go back to that concept of helping customers configure a new piece of machinery on the factory floor. And I want to share with you now another video. This one is pretty cool, and I, I hope you like it as well. So let's take a peek at this one. I think we got the right video and let's go. With HoloLens, you can work with high quality 3D holograms integrated into your space. With Microsoft Layout, you have the tools you need to design and review in context and find new solutions that give you confidence before you commit. Transform your layout in moments with precision and speed. So seriously, how how cool is that? And just imagine that being a part of your sales process, you're differentiating yourself from all of your competitors because you can actually allow the customer to take the machine and virtually see it in their space and adjust it and so forth and go back to you as the manufacturer to you know, tweak it the way they need it. It's just a tremendous tool in the overall sales process. 